Amy Gibbons here, coming to you from my apartments. Thank you for watching. As many of you probably also are, I've been cooped up in my home for the last several days and plan to be here for at least another week in order to prevent getting or spreading COVID-19. So far, luckily, I'm healthy, as it appears many people in Door County are. There are so far zero confirmed cases of coronavirus in the county. Hopefully that continues, but if not, there are measures being put into place rapidly and things are constantly evolving to address the issue. First of all, many events have been canceled going all the way into August. We have a running list on our website that shows the different events that are being canceled or postponed, as well as the many closures that are going on around the county. Of course, all K-12 public and private schools have been closed. They're also limiting visitors to the hospital as well as the jail. Many, many shops have been closed down and of course all bars and restaurants throughout Wisconsin are closed for the time being. The county's asking that tourists stay away from Door County for the next 30 days at least. That includes part-time residents who likely only have summer homes in the area. In order to prevent tourists from coming, the county urged lodging entities to cancel reservations and not take in any more for the next 30 days. One of the things that hasn't slowed down at all in the wake of COVID-19 is the county's emergency services. The Sheriff's Office and Sturgeon Bay Police Department released a joint statement notifying people that they're still active and doing their same duties. So far, all their staffs are healthy and they're fully staffed. However, for non-emergency calls, they are gonna try their best to do what they can remotely and handle situations over the phone in order to keep their staff healthy. Of course, they'll still respond to 911 calls that require an in-person response. However, the 911 dispatch person will likely ask callers a series of questions to determine if they have COVID-19 symptoms in order to prepare the officer that, that responds to the scene. The Fire Chief Association, which brings together all fire chiefs from around the county, has launched an emergency support coalition. That's a group of volunteers who are going to be helping out in different ways around the county, grocery shopping and delivering groceries and medications to people who don't want to go outside, being a person to call for emotional support, that sort of thing. They're still seeking many volunteers. At this point, the county and most of its municipalities have declared a state of emergency. There are many guidelines in place by the Center for Disease Control that urge people to stay home, especially when they're sick, wash your hands often. The governor has declared that we should avoid groups of more than 10 people. And when you do see people, keep a good distance between each other. This situation is constantly evolving every single minute and me and my colleagues are doing our best to keep you informed and updated at all times. So thank you for sticking with us. You can come back, come check out our website for ongoing information. And I will be back next week bringing you another update. I'm now going to turn things over to my assistant who will tell you what to do if you're experiencing symptoms related to COVID-19. Stevie. Stevie, what do people do if they're not feeling well? Well, it looks like my assistant is uh, sleeping on the job, so I'll be uh, posting that job opening shortly. But the answer to that question is, if you're experiencing symptoms, call your doctor. Door County Medical Center also has a hotline that you can call with COVID-19 related questions or to find out if you should come in because of your symptoms. Do you have anything else to say, Steven? Unbelievable.